Thank you for watching Yazincom channel. Our topic today will be about scale inhibitor, so let's learn together what scale inhibitor is and what cause it and how to control it. Scale inhibitors are substances that prevent or slow down the precipitation of scale-forming salts, such as calcium carbonate, calcium sulfate, barium sulfate, and others, from water. They achieve this by altering the crystallization process or dispersing scale particles in solution. What's the importance of scale control? If you control scale, you will increase the operational efficiency. For example, scale reduces the heat exchange efficiency, which increases operational costs and reduces the performance of cooling systems, boilers, and other water-based systems. Second is extended equipment lifespan. Preventing scale buildup reduces the wear and tear on industrial equipment such as pumps, pipes, and heat exchangers. Maintenance and downtime. Scale formation leads to costly repairs and downtime for cleaning equipment and systems. Mechanisms of scale inhibitors. Nucleation inhibition. This inhibitors prevent the initial formation of solid crystals from supersaturated solutions of scale-forming salts. Here scale inhibitors adsorb onto the small clusters of ions or onto surfaces where crystals are likely to form, preventing them from growing into larger crystals. This mechanism is highly effective in systems where supersaturation is significant, such as in cooling towers or desalination processes. Crystal growth inhibition once a crystal has begun to form, inhibitors can interfere with its growth by binding to the crystal face, preventing further ion attachment. Scale inhibitors physically block the crystals from expanding by creating a layer of molecules around them, thereby limiting their growth. Dispersion of existing crystals some inhibitors prevent the aggregation of small crystals into larger ones by dispersing them in solution. Polymers and surfactants are often used to keep the scale particles suspended in the solution, preventing them from settling and forming hard deposits. Threshold inhibition. This mechanism involves the ability of scale inhibitors to prevent scale formation at concentrations lower than the saturation level of the scale-forming salts. The inhibitors lower the concentration of free ions in solution, shifting the equilibrium away from scale formation. Scale inhibitors are typically classified by their chemical structure, mode of action, and their application. The most common types include phosphonates, polymeric inhibitors, organophosphates, carboxylate-based inhibitors, and surfactant-based inhibitors. Phosphonates. These compounds work by forming stable complexes with calcium ions, preventing the nucleation and growth of scale crystals. It's commonly used in industrial water treatment, cooling towers, and oil field operations. Polymeric inhibitors. These polymers work by dispersing scale-forming ions and preventing them from aggregating into solid crystals. They can also modify crystal growth to prevent scale formation. It used in a variety of water treatment systems, including cooling water systems, boilers, and reverse osmosis RO, systems. Organophosphates, similar to phosphonates, but these compounds also exhibit higher stability in harsh conditions like high temperature or high pH. This often used in industries with high temperature processes, such as in cooling towers and oil field operations. Carboxylate-based inhibitors these inhibitors typically work by altering the crystal structure of scale-forming salts, making them less likely to precipitate and form deposits, this widely used in water treatment, especially in industrial cooling and boiler systems. Surfactant-based inhibitors 
Surfactants lower the surface tension between water and scale forming ions, thus preventing the deposition of scale. Used in a variety of processes where scale prevention is critical, including in desalination and oil field operations. Chelating agents. These chemicals work by binding to metal ions. Example, calcium, magnesium that contribute to scale formation, preventing them from forming insoluble salts, typically used in high-purity water systems or where specific metal ion removal is necessary. Now factors affecting scale inhibition. First is temperature. High temperatures can increase the rate of scale formation and reduce the effectiveness of some scale inhibitors. That's why I use temperature-stable inhibitors like phosphonates or organophosphates for high-temperature systems like boilers. Second factor is pH. Scale formation is highly pH dependent. For example, calcium carbonate scales form more easily at high pH. So inhibitors may be pH sensitive. So their efficacy could vary depending on the system's pH. Another factor is water composition. The presence of other ions like sulfate, bicarbonate in the water can affect scale formation. The choice of scale inhibitor must take into account the water chemistry, such as hardness, alkalinity, and ionic composition. Concentration of scale forming ions. The higher the concentration of scale forming ions, like calcium, magnesium, the more likely scale will form. Higher doses of scale inhibitors may be required in areas with high ion concentrations. Here is trick. Know your water chemistry. Always analyze the water composition before selecting a scale inhibitor. This is the end of this video. Thank you for watching Yazincom channel. See you next time.